Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction for you guys. Today guys, of course, we are continuing the journey of the Batman, checking out this next episode. This is the Batman Season 2, Episode 3, Fire and Ice. We're we doing some sort of Game of Thrones crossover here, Song of Ice and Fire? I'm kidding. So, Fire and Ice. Interesting title. I'm curious to see what that is in relation to within this episode. So, last week's episode, Riddled, of course, had the Riddler being introduced. And what I liked about the episode so much is the fact that Yen and Batman had to fully work together to solve all these riddles because he, of course, helped her with that first riddle where it was like a huge explosion or whatever, and he luckily figured it out. It was Riddle. I think that was the answer for the first one. And then the Riddler just assumed that I think he was tricking Yen or whatever. I think he figured out early on that Batman was helping Yen, but he said, Yen, you figured this out you're gonna do all these different puzzles and all these different riddles and all this kind of stuff and it was a, a crazy adventure for sure and then everything kind of came to a breaking point i would say because literally when they got to the last riddle it turns out that the riddler was actually leaving all these different other riddles whenever he was talking and batman's thinking back on everything he was saying turns out this last riddle here in the museum has no answer and then he's actually doing this stuff over here the riddler or whatever to kind of distract them and then getting him into this device in his little like, lair where literally it was a 20 question game and every single time Batman falsely answered something, it would shock Yen and it was all to figure out who the Batman is. And of course he failed. But the fact is, is that he could have easily pulled off the cow because he was going to, but he's like, ah, too easy. I'm like, I mean, Yen wants to know. I mean, I think now with her working with him, it's definitely switched with the dynamic for sure for her actually instead of being against him for the first bit to now actually working with him, it's very different. And I like the fact that they, within the second episode of season two, really dove into them actually working together fully, especially to save Gotham. So let's get into tonight, guys. Let's check out episode three of season two and see what they do with this episode. Fire and ice. Let's go. Turn that radiator up and the alarm clock off. Cause you are not getting to work tomorrow unless you can fly. Firefly. I mean, he's not going to do that. This town, I'm the heat. Are you? Ooh. And no steak. I love the fact that he brought that suit back. I'm so happy. I love that suit. How do you shoot the, the cord that's on you? Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Exactly. My god, the suit's almost destroyed. We just scored Chief's public enemy number one. Uh, oh shit. Um, Batmobile for the save. Get out of there. Go. You and Firefly came quite the winter barbecue. It was yes. blast. Do we know it was so much fun? <laughs> Honey, I'm home. What? Is this a joke? Nice. Ice. I know I said nice, but still. I also. I mean, he's on your trail already, so. What's going on? Party? Do we have to keep hearing that every time the bat wave goes off? The bat wave? Like, we know. Did you have to cause that much damage to get in there? I, I guess. Jesus. So, what are you gonna do with that? Liquid nitrogen. What are you gonna do? Oh? His ice abilities are crazy. Ooh. Yep, yeah, move, move, move. How shall I ice you? Ice you. Pick your frozen brain. He missed for a reason. Oh, using his weapon against him. Yep. My god, he made it well known where he went. It is time to swap one dark suit for another, Master Bruce. It's the time for the party. Yeah. The heat that flows through these vents warms every what are they doing? Gotham with my cryo accelerator. What are they going to tell us? We can do something about that. People are showing up. So the whole thing about icy roads apparently not an issue really for them. But he's doing more harm than good with <laughs> God, you're talking to him. You're lucky the bat only tracks you're lucky. Alive. Like a man in need of a uh oh, uh oh, okay. I know your secret. No, no, no it's not Batman. No, no. It's been quite an act. There are two sides to Bruce Wayne. Oh. Most people look at you and think, rich party boy. Wait. Does the whole charity thing just for the PR? You really care, don't you? Boy, I knew they weren't actually doing that. And what better 
one to beta test than where the entire police force of course assembles. Holy crap. Power. That is why I am pleased to donate. It's getting cold. Yeah, it's freezing now. Okay, let's be realistic. If that would actually shot straight out instead of straight up like that, it would have killed people. Uh, yeah. But they're all just frozen. Like, there's no deaths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So wait. Wait, what? <laughs> He's frozen? Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not good. Alfred, where are you at? Lucky. You're lucky that thing's stalling you out. When there's frost, there's fire. Sure. Sure, sure. Hello! <laughs> Man. He's really gonna dodge in or you suck at aiming? Move. Oh, he wanted him to. Okay. Uh oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're turning on each other. They're turning. Oh, shit. Watch yourself. Ooh. And now he's frozen. So. So lucky. So lucky. Here it comes. Yep, exactly. Now they're fighting each other. Yeah, the villain team ups never work. Time to bring the heat. Bring the heat. Oh, he kept that. It worked. Bye bye, Batman. Well, no, actually not. Ooh. I remember Wayne's speech and then Zip. Yep. What happened? Hey, we got frozen. Hey, check this out. Freeze and Firefly did this? Of course he did. Well, they won't yeah. be giving us any more trouble. Well, not for now. Boys. It wasn't us, Chief. Spotlight again. He's in the spotlight. Woo! He's like. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Love you. Mean it. Everybody clap for Batman. Everybody clap for the Batman for saving Gotham once again. Really interesting episode. Pretty good stuff. And literally, the Fire and Ice title makes a lot of sense because literally this team up was polar opposites, really. Firefly and Mr. Freeze. Two villains I thought would never team up, but they did. And I'm like, this is not going to end well for them because villain team ups never work. It just never, never does. We saw this a couple episodes ago with the season two premiere with Catwoman and Penguin teaming up, even though from the start Catwoman was going to portray Penguin and everything. Ultimately, it was revealed a little bit later as like a twist, if you will. And I was like, whoa, really? Penguin is actually planning on, you know, betraying her as well. But we ultimately, you know, knew that it was going to happen with Catwoman saying I'm going to betray him behind his back. But he was actually planning on doing the same thing, betrayal. But then working together, especially with Mr. Freeze's plan about like, basically icing over the entire city during this really bad winter storm and everything, and Firefly helping for that, like it's kind of bizarre, but okay. <laughs> Regardless, they teamed up and they ended up fighting each other, and of course they both lost. But I, I thought it was interesting that they paired them together, but they literally polar opposites, but okay. I, I guess I guess Firefly thought that this would just be good overall for Gotham because he can just do whatever the hell he wants because right now he can't because Batman's doing all this shit and he can't get away with everything, you know? So maybe he thought, okay, I'll team up with this guy because Mr. Freeze is really overpowered in the show. Like, his abilities with his freezing abilities is just like to the to the max essentially and a little bit over that where he literally just, it, it's so much ice and so much damage. It, it's kind of crazy. So his whole plan was to go to this giant you know, generator boiler type thing for the entirety of Gotham and using the different ducts or whatever, like air ducts or whatever to send ice through and to free stuff over and everything. And, uh, he needed, um, liquid nitrogen for that. And they tested it out, of course, on this police gala ball or whatever, where Bruce had to show up and make a speech and everything. Um, they test that out. Of course, all of basic Gotham's police department are here for this event. <laughs> and even Yen was like saying to Bruce, it makes you wonder who's protecting the city. Nobody is. And then, of course, Bruce is uh, ending his speech, or at least he's in the middle of it. I think he was actually about to end it. Um, but then the, he said, well, the generator kicked out because you see that you see the, the, his breath when he starts talking. He's like, oh, wait, the generator went out. No. And then they all got frozen. And the shoots of ice and everything, I'm like, my God, this would have killed people. And they actually ended up being froze over. Of course, no one's dead. Bruce had two 
lucky moments, very lucky moments in this episode. Number one, with that sequence where they all got frozen in that area, Bruce was frozen and he got the bat wave out just in the time. And then it, it detected his body's temperature like lowering. So it, it increased the temperature on the device to melt him. Th that's okay. I didn't realize the bat wave could do that, but okay. The second time Mr. Freeze sends out, you know, blast of ice, which Firefly got hit as well. And he of course got out, but Bruce hit the little thing on his belt just in the last second to break him free. Once again, very, very lucky. Of course, it's Batman, so of course he's going to get out of this type of situations, but it felt like, okay, this is <laughs> a little too much. The one time I could get, but two, okay, it, it, it is what it is, you know. But see, he's already fought Mr. Freeze before. That's the big difference, and the fact it's the opening episode. I, I don't want to get too sidetracked, but I'll, I'll bring up this. He brought up the, or he wore the Arctic suit in the beginning. I'll bring that up in a second because I really want to talk about that because I love that suit. But he's already fought Mr. Freeze, so it, it kind of tracks where he is readily available for a situation where he needs to thaw himself out. So for me to really critique the two lucky points, he was prepared for this. I just didn't realize the Batwave could do that. I know he had used that previously before on his belt where he could uh, unthaw himself with that little thing, that, that, that certain device. But I didn't know the Batwave like machinery, like that device, could thaw him out. I had no clue of that. Um, now to the suit. He wore the Arctic suit unfortunately just for the beginning i really wish he would have worn it for the entire episode or for the good majority of it but he wore it for the opening sequence against firefly which i'm like firefly out in this winter storm okay um but batman wore the arctic suit and it was awesome but then firefly does something that i i wasn't expecting he would he flew down towards a gas truck lighting it up with his you know heat rays or whatever from his wrist and then and batman was hanging on by a cord around his neck his neck his 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 leg and then as firefly swooped up batman is swooping down at the about to go back up and then the explosion as he goes right down in front of it luckily he survived the suit was pretty much damaged so i'm like i hope he, hope he can fix it up but no he has no time he has to switch to the actual bat suit and continue on like that i really wish we would see more of the arctic suit because I, I was surprised we saw it but the, i wasn't even thinking about the fact oh look at all the snow and everything and the ice He's, he shows up in the Arctic suit. I'm like, oh, I forgot. Yes. And then it was, you know, destroyed. It's okay. Now, I have a, I have a little bit of a critique. I understand it's a kid's show. So I really shouldn't, it really sh it's not really an issue. I wouldn't think because it's a kid's show. They're going to make sure that everybody can follow along. Very simple. But we have every single time now, Bruce goes looking up on the monitor in the Batcave or pulling out the device, the Batwave. We know it's the Batwave. <laughs> But I guess since it's, it is, this show is an animated show, mostly tailored to kids. Adults can watch it. I'm loving the hell out of this show and I'm not definitely a kid. <laughs> I'm a kid at heart, but like, I'm loving the hell out of this show, but I don't need Bruce to mention every single time, dwar, 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 bat cave, the bat wave device in his pocket, the bat wave. We know, we know it's the bat wave. <laughs> what else would it be? But I guess they have to keep mentioning it just so in case. If, if it's a little kid not following along too much of the story, you recognize the bat wave means there's something going on, some sort of alert, just to, just so that everybody's on the same page, I'm guessing. But regardless of all that, uh, great action in the episode. And seeing Yen, that, I knew that fake out was coming. I knew Yen really didn't, wasn't going to expose Bruce to being Batman because I know that she doesn't know. I'm thinking she's going to find out eventually. I just didn't, I just don't think it's going to happen now. I think it's going to happen at some point down the road. She's going to put it together or she's going to be told by Bruce who the Batman is. Um, but with that whole thing there about, you know, this is all a front. Now, there's two sides of Bruce Wayne, but you actually do care. Bruce Wayne cares about Gotham. I think Bruce Wayne, like he, he wanted to rain check and not go or ice check in the situation, not go to this event for police. But Alfred has to keep reminding him, and it's a good point because it's been brought up in the show before, and they're going to keep this narrative going. Bruce is seen in a certain light in Gotham in terms of he's this playboy and he's this billionaire and all that kind of stuff. He has a certain, he has a certain, I don't know, viewpoint from people. I, it's, I, what's the wording? But you, get, you get what I'm trying to say. He is viewed a certain way. He has to keep up with public appearances because if people start realizing that Bruce is being a recluse, he's not showing up anywhere, and all of a sudden the Batman's everywhere, you know, it's it, it's not really helping with them being... Because Batman has so much, like, technology and everything. Like, they're going to start figuring it out. Like, they should, they should already start be investigating. It's a rich person doing this. How, how else would somebody be able to afford all this stuff? You know what I'm saying? 
but they haven't done that. But if he, if he's not making public appearances and making it look a certain way that who he is, then they might start piecing it together that he's Batman. It's possible. So Alfred had to make sure to say, look, you have to show up to just continue their persona the public sees you as. But ultimately, Bruce, he cares deeply for Gotham. Like, this is why he's doing this. He, of course, appreciates law enforcement. Obviously, they don't like him. They're just following orders mostly because they want to, you know, the Chiefs. We got to get through the Batman. The Batman's just the baddest villains. So I get that point. But, yeah, I really just, you know, Yen was like, yeah. I, I saw that fake out coming. I did. But I think she'll find out eventually. She will. But Bruce does care. He does care. He cares for Gotham. Um... I'm also, I'm not, it's not really a pattern because Riddler was introduced in the last episode, but the episode prior to that, Catwoman and Penguin teaming up. Is this going to be kind of a pattern this season where it's going to be team ups potentially with villains we've already seen or whatever, because we've already had one team up with Catwoman and Penguin. Now we have Mr. Freeze and Firefly. Really weird team ups for sure with both of those different episodes, but still, is that maybe kind of a theme we're going to be following this season where we're going to be seeing kind of team ups? I'll be curious about that but I, I overall enjoyed the episode i did overall enjoyed the episode and i really can't complain too too much because this show continues to deliver on some good storytelling i might have some gripes or whatever with him being lucky a lot with thawing himself out or saying the bat wave over and over whenever we're like the bat wave we know i still love this show i'm still glad i gave it a shot and i'm so glad that i decided to make it the show to of course air on saturdays and I appreciate you guys for supporting the videos. And, you know, I love the fact that the show is just unique in its own way. And I'm curious to see what happens next because there, in the end, wasn't, was not in a lot of this episode. But I, I, I'm really curious to, to, to see more of the development between Yen and Bruce as Batman, their working relationship. And it kind of, a little bit of the thing where Yen was like talking to Bruce before she did the fake out everything. She's like... It's like, are they setting up something a little here between Bruce and Yen? I don't know, but that would complicate more things if that's the case. But yeah, so overall enjoyed the episode and crazy um, thing that, you know, I'm sorry, I, I was sorry, Iceman. <laughs> Mr. Freeze wanted to do uh, with his plan. He was, he was succeeding a little bit, then of course everything backfired and went to shit because Batman is smart as hell and they are not, and they, and that team up with Firefly and Mr. Freeze, that was obviously not going to work ultimately, but that, that team up was just not going to, you know, it wasn't going to be able to overthrow the Batman. It could have, but no, <laughs> not in that situation. So what you guys think of the episode? I'm curious to know your thoughts. Whatever thoughts you have guys, please let me know in the comments below. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.